Good mid-morning, approaching the noon hour on this gloomy, overcast, depressing, chilly, fall-feeling day on this late May, late, late, late spring, only a couple of days away from the start of summer in the greater Roseville metropolitan area. And the great state of Michigan. This is Nintendo. Gold Crypto Investing. Where you come for probability, one of a kind company made uh, trade alert system and company philosophy and free market capitalism and the right to keep the fruits of your labor. And we despise the left wing communist. Uh, agenda and authoritarian uh, government philosophies that uh, in the case of socialism uh, steal your money via taxation and theft and it eventually moves into uh, communism where they steal your money by force and death right that's why the great Joseph Stalin once said the evil dictator and authoritarian that murdered millions of people that democracy is indispensable to socialism because you give a free people no matter what their country is democracy and they will vote themselves into slavery every time without question right and they do that because they feel entitled that the government should be their daddy and should take care of them when once the government is your daddy and they control everything they control you they control your money they control your life they control your privacy uh, they control it all and they only look to expand and gain their power and wealth by they systematically steal your wealth, your prosperity, your individual freedom and sovereignty and drive you down into poverty. Right? We don't like that. We uh, despise Joe Biden's administration uh, and the left wing radical agenda uh, and communism and socialism. Uh, and we will promote. Uh, anybody that promotes freedom, capitalism, and a constitutional republic that God guarantees your individual freedom and liberty to pursue and prosper as you so see fit and you get to keep the fruits of your labor and you have individual sovereignty and freedom, right? That's what we like here at Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. And just a little live TA real quick. I got a lot of shit to do today, but I got to up my jabronis my og xrp sniper jabroni if you're out there xrp sniper you're in a hole right now and then live ta live still got crashing volume bearish best case scenario and our track would sort of support that is you try to fight and claw and scratch your way back right and this is how all the coins are going to look up to overhead resistance and then try to fight and scrawl your way back to retest upper uh, upper resistance and then come down and crash, right? Or you just trade sideways and then you come to overhead resistance at 36,000 and you crash. Either way, you're going to crash and you're going to be liquidated again because the hypesters and the fleecers and the hustlers drew you back in with their blonde. Let's clone that. Right, you know, clone, see that? So, uh, best case scenario for all you jabronis that are trapped is you come up and retest somewhere up there. Uh, more likely scenario, come on, fucking trading view. Best, uh, uh, most likely and most probable scenario is you trade up. God, fucking trading view, dude. This is the shit I talk about. Like, literally, you can pick every fucking thing except the fucking shit you want. The most likely scenario and the most probable, if you don't just immediately roll over in some more live TA, as this green line is the 200-day and the blue is the under, is the overhead 50, you're fighting on that right now, as you get rejected, you could get rejected by that and just come down. That is also possible. The most likely scenario is you trade sideways over towards that 37,000 and then get rejected. Outside shot, but not, not probable, nor is it the most likely. And it is, in fact, yes, the least likely scenario is you fight and claw and scratch your way over a couple of 
moving averages and to overhead major resistance out of that falling wedge you just broke out of right here where I told you to pay attention last night that if you broke out you had a crash coming and you did um, the outside chance you retest that 37 to forty thousand dollars just to immediately roll over and bam get shot right in the head right but moving on Litecoin is going to be the same thing we had a phenomenal call on Litecoin yesterday morning about 502 central standard time in the morning we put a track out there and we left it on and we said uh another reason why we are the best in the business in technical analysis and cryptocurrency and dogecoin undisputed untested unchallenged champion right here it's 502 a.m in the morning on the 26th of may 2021 we said the most likely scenario was we pump up and then trade down that down sloping yellow upper resistance and then crash and wouldn't you know it that's what we did here and then we crashed right down to where my arrow was strategically placed at the bottom of that traded area if you go back see that see all that traded area that's how we knew when you crashed that this was the probability based most likely spot to get an initial bounce and to try to fight your way back see all that trading that happened here that's all that overhead and underneath resistance means is trading that's how we knew where you were going to bounce and that's why that arrow was to the exact bottom it almost looked like i placed it there after when in fact i placed it there yesterday morning at 502 in the morning when the price was uh 21 dollars higher right but it was another phenomenal call by vincenzo now you could today form an up and sideways consolidation which is very bearish along with crashing volume other than the sell volume that spikes in you could trade up and sideways like that see that to overhead resistance to get rejected and come down farther even closer to our ultimate mid range target down there um that would be a bear flag right a bear pennant a bearish continuation pattern and if it forms something like that and uh to figure out a target would be from the top of the flagpole to the bottom of the flag then trading view is going to make this hard then you bring it to the potential point of a breakout you see that and then your next target would be about 150 dollars which again has confluency with this underneath crash of a few uh week ago when we called it where there was a lot of trading when you first crashed and then got that bounce back to get all these bronies in on this up and sideways consolidation with crashing volume right so we'll we'll see how that plays out that's the most likely scenario today in litecoin is you trade up and sideways a few dollars maybe by tonight or tomorrow you can fight to that one here we'll put a price target we'll clone that Maybe by uh, the end of the tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow before the uh, or the end of Sunday before the future before the market closes tonight, the futures market and the futures market opens Sunday. You could fight and call and scratch your way back up there just to get rejected. And we got some live TA and a target down there when all the jabronis. If it does form this uh, bear pennant or bear flag bearish continuation pattern, when all the jabronis get bought, all the hype starts building in an XRP sniper. So it's running his mouth about how the price is going up there. Uh, just remember the ultimate target when it gets rejected is down at 150. Uh, DGB, we tried to warn you and way, way back. Let's go to the way back machine. Yep. Remember this? When I took a lot of heat, right? Remember that? You guys remember this up here? I mean, it was so long ago now. It seems unfathomable that people were even debating me on this, right? But we had an emergency sell alert, right? Right. No, it was higher. It was 14 cents. It was 14 cents. Where's the four? Oh, I deleted my line. Hold on. Let me put my line back on. Man, I deleted a lot of shit on here. I had my ultimate support zone running like, uh, it was running like this at the time. It was coming way up there, right? See that? Now you guys are starting to remember, right? And at the 14 cent line, right here, we'll get some more sexy going data points as we zoom in to illustrate this even better. The line might have been, the line was actually up a little more. It was like right now. See that? 
because I had a pattern recognition, and right here, now you guys see it. Go back and check them videos, XRP Sniper. Right here, I had an emergency sell alert, and I set up a cross as that major uptrending red line, the upper, the lower uptrending support. You were gonna crash and in a big way, and our targets were way down there, and our ultimate target was way down here before any kind of a substantial bounce would happen, and that's what happened. And I took a lot of heat because it immediately crashed and got bought back up 10 hours later. And the whole YouTube world was saying, Vincenzo told his guys to sell too soon. Vincenzo misread it. I never issued another buy alert. I said, you could come up and retest. This has upper resistance now just to get immediately rejected because the volume is crashing. And that's exactly what happened, XRP Sniper. And to all the rest of you, that still continue to deny who the undisputed champion is. Cause I put a sell alert on Digibyte at 14 and a half cents. And I have never reissued a buy alert because there has not been a great spot to buy for big gains. And you are down at current price, 58 and a half percent and crashing uh, from where I issued that sell alert. And you've had very short windows to try to eke out a few percent profit after taxes and fees. That's why I said jabroni, 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 jabroni. Put a massive jabroni alert out there. Another phenomenal call made by this company, Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. And our ultimate target is way down there, but you're going to have to trade. You could come back up here first and then down just to sucker in more people like XRP Sniper. Back up around 10 cents. Like he got bought in. Uh, I think he was at like eight or nine cents. Uh, if, as fucking crazy as this is, back up here yesterday, I think he's in at like eight cents, saying, oh, there's a chance that this could happen and there's a chance that magic fairies could come out of the tree and the elves could follow him, right? Yeah, there's a chance, but listen to all these things, if and but and what. Uh, I had no ifs, buts, or what's. XRP Sniper, I said it was rolling over once it hit these overhead moving averages and you were coming down. And now you better hope if you're not out of that hideous, disgusting, gloomy, uninformed, uneducated, and jabroni trade, you better hope it holds that 0.062 sign. So you're coming down very fast, very low. Another phenomenal call by Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing and the company building uh, Dogecoin, right? See that head and shoulders topping reversal pattern? There's our other right shoulder. See that? This was the daily time frame, and Vincenzo sniffed it out way, way back here and said what was going on. And then right up down, see that? Right here, leading up to the Thursday, Friday, Saturday morning before Saturday Night Live, we said, Vincenzo said, was the only one industry exclusive cryptocurrency undisputed technical analysis champion because of this. All you jabronis thought it was going bam, way up there as soon as Elon took the stage. And all Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Vincenzo was warning you, we had a pumping price, crashing volume after a pump, with pumping volume and up and sideways consolidation there. I'm the one that came up with this up and sideways consolidation term on YouTube, right? Pump. Let, let me go over what Vincenzo got going on uh, YouTube. So you guys aren't misinformed thinking uh, this isn't uh, original content from Vince. Vincenzo's gold crypto investing trading rule. A pumping price, see that? Pumping price, pumping volume bottom, pumping price. Bullish, got that? Bullish to hear. After pump, crash, this is going on a t-shirt, crashing vo price, crashing volume, uh, bullish, right? Because you had a down and sideways consolidation there. See that? But this was how what I call a hidden uh, jabroni uh, bearish divergence that gets the jabronis and the hustlers in. But from that point on, you had crashing volume overall still and an up and sideways consolidation. I'm gonna make this very, very sexy and clear and gorgeous for you guys. So when you hear up and sideways consolidation and down and sideways consolidation, you have it in the right context, in the right form, so you understand what the fuck you're actually talking about and looking at because you guys have no fucking clue what you're talking about or looking at. And I am the one that made this term, just like perching tool, a line tool with an arrow, I made this YouTube famous to where all these other jabronis are using this now. But here is what this means right here and where it came from and started for me was on Dogecoin where I released my company rule in my uh, now YouTube famous uh, saying, if I can find my fucking drawing tool, um, I said leading up to Dogecoin, pumping price, pumping volume, bullish. Down and sideways consolidation 
after pump and crashing volume to here, very bullish. But from that point on, you had a hidden bearish divergence because this is what goes on the back of my t-shirt. You had an overall crashing volume and from here on an up and sideways consolidation. You see that? Very bearish, often a sign of a rounding top like we formed that the bearers or the buyers are being exhausted and the sellers or the uh, bearers are taking over the market, right? This rounding top is often a sign of a rounding top that the buyers or bulls are being exhausted and the sellers or bears are taking over the market and the price is going to come down. And we called an initial target of way down there at 20 to 25 cents, which we hit 23 cents way up here on the Saturday Night Live hype where we said as soon as Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk took the stage, it was a classic bubble top and bam, it was going to crash hard and fast and it did 44% during Saturday Night Live and Vincenzo's gold crypto investing was the only one based off that technical analysis, part of it into my method of madness to my forecasting and database industry exclusive set that called that. And whenever you hear that saying, uh, pumping volume, pumping price, bullish. After pump, crashing price, and up and sideways, consolidation, very bearish, often a sign the buyers are being exhausted and the sellers, the bears, are taking over the market and the price is going to come down. Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing uh, made that slogan. And now it's spreading through the YouTube realm because just like drawing tool with an arrow or AKA perching tool, that will be made YouTube famous just as that bit of company and trading rule. Tenzel's Gold Crypto Investing gave that to you. Peace and love, cryptocurrency champion, undisputed, unchallenged technical analysis.